fraud schemes have become increasingly sophisticated in recent years as technological advancements have made it easier for crooks to prey on your money. But as Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman reports, law enforcement agencies are also upping their efforts to provide resources to the community to combat those financial crimes. As technology makes it harder for people to deal with financial scams, the Indian River County Sheriff's Office is trying to make it easier for people to report those crimes, allowing online submissions that go directly to the department's Economic Crimes Unit, allowing deputies to build more detailed cases faster than traditional paper reports. Fraud scams are on the rise on the Treasure Coast. In the last few years, uh, the scam system has just absolutely exploded uh, with the prevalence of AI now. You know, the scams are getting uh, even more sophisticated. Technology has really enabled these scammers from around the globe to reach out and commit crimes right here in Indian River County. When they're after my money, I was concerned. I had to cancel my credit card and I was pain in the butt, you know. While residents like her Van Gangen have been victimized by criminals manipulating technology, the sheriff's office is using technology for the better, creating an online system where victims can submit fraud or identity theft reports directly to the Economic Crimes Unit online, or even from your phone with the push of a few buttons. Not only is it faster than physically submitting paper reports in person, it also has another benefit for deputies. Our motive was to get those case reports in, to get as much information, allowing the victims to be able to send us stuff online, uh, but also along the way alleviate those patrol deputies from having to take those reports. County residents say they're happy to see law enforcement stepping up their game against sophisticated scammers. I think it is a helpful tool, and I, I think that uh, most of these scams are now being aimed towards senior citizens who aren't necessarily technologically sophisticated. So if they can make it real simple, I think it's gonna help a lot. Sheriff Flowers hopes this in-person tool gains popularity, though traditional in-person reporting is not going anywhere for those who don't wanna deal with technology at all. Dylan Huberman, CBS 12 News.